these that are just number one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so freaking excited because guess where we're going? Duh, we're going to Sephora. They should just make me like the Sephora girl. I'm obsessed with Sephora. People think I'm obsessed with this and I'm okay with it. I am obsessed with it. I think this is an obsession that doesn't hurt anyone. What we're doing today is a little different. We're going to Sephora to get all of Sephora's best sellers. So I went on the app and I looked at all of their best sellers. You guys are gonna come along with me. We're gonna test them out. I'm gonna be trying them all at the end of the video. So if you wanna see my honest review, stay till the end of the video and give this video a big thumbs up if you freaking love Sephora because and as always, we always do a little outfit of the day. I'm wearing this sweater that I got from YesStyle, I think. And then this pink top is also from YesStyle underneath. And then these jeans are Hollister. And of course, I'm wearing my favorite bag. I added a bow to it. Look how cute. All right, now we're ready to go. Look, they got the new sprays, which honestly, I'm like not the biggest fan of, honestly. So these are one of the best sellers. They're the little Say Glowy Drops, but I don't know if I should get these like dark ones. Like that, they give you kind of like a little glow. It smells good. Also, I'm gonna be getting some stuff and I'm not gonna be showing you guys what I'm getting. Stay tuned for the little haul. This is another bestseller. This is the Flawless Filter. It's supposed to be very glowy. Okay, that did nothing. I do wanna try their new foundation that everyone's been talking about. I wanna try it so bad because apparently it's like really weightless and has pretty good coverage. Why am I having anxiety right now? Somebody help me. Okay, everyone's scared. <laughs> what do you think? Which one do you think is my shade? Honestly, I think this might be my shade just from looking at it. Pump some of this on my hand. No! <gasps> oh, oh! That was not my fault. Oh, That's not my fault. Oh, that was my God. not my fault. Does anyone know how to get foundation out of jeans? Because it's not coming off. The YSL Lash Clash is one of the best selling mascaras. Ugh, they don't have these yet. I'm like, wanna, wanna try these so bad, but they don't have it. And I'm like, literally so sad. I do wanna try this serum though, because apparently it's really good and it's on Sephora's bestsellers. So I don't know. If Drunk Elephant wasn't on Sephora's bestsellers, I don't know what would be. Obviously on the top of the list is the Proteini moisturizer. This moisturizer, honestly, I was kind of surprised that the bronzy drops were not on the list. This one. Oh. No, please My sister wants to make a smoothie, guys. Should I should I kick her out? Not a Sephora kitty. Okay. Oh. Look, my bay transported here. This is another bestseller, but I'm scared to try that because everyone's saying that it kind of sucks. Color. This is also another bestseller, and I've never tried it because I just prefer oils instead. These two moisturizers are it. like best-selling moisturizers. I've read the ingredients on these, and they're just not the greatest, so I don't know why people love them so much. Obviously heard about the Laneige lip masks. They are so popular, but I really want to try the new one, the cotton candy one. 
And they also took out like this Valentine's Day one, but I don't think they have it here. Also, this serum is actually one of the top sellers. And this serum is literally $82. Just stay tuned till the end because I do have this serum at home and I just want to share my thoughts with you guys. So stay tuned till the end. Obviously, Glow Recipe is iconic. They have so many best sellers. They have these that are just number one. Also, the toner and the little spray. This is literally always sold out. They don't even have it in stock right now. Okay, these pads, they're supposed to help with like your texture and all that good stuff. I really, really want to try it. It's just so expensive. Like, look at that. It's crazy. I want to see if they have the lip liner that everyone and their mama has. I think it's this one, Wherever Walnut. Oh my goodness, I found it. It was the last one. And look at that, guys. They're fully stocked on the highlighter besides this one. I wanted to try the pink one, but they don't have it. I'm so sad. The Patrick Ta blushes are so popular. They were sold out for like a whole entire month at my store, and so are the bronzers. I wanted to get that one, but I feel like it's a little too red. This is one of the top selling concealers for a freaking reason. I don't even have to get this because I already have it. Look how cute this looks. Are you kidding me? Like, I just want the whole line just because it's pink. Mm. My sister likes the 62. I like, I love this one. The Rio Radiant. <sighs> Smells like the beach. <laughs> they have the perfume too. Okay. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Okay guys, I'm so excited to give you this little haul of everything that I got yesterday and everything that I do already have that is Sephora's top sellers. Starting off with this Ordinary Soothing and Barrier Support Serum. I also got the Dr. Dennis Gross Universal Daily Peel Pads. Laura Mercier Real Flawless Foundation. This has been all over TikTok. You guys already know. Everyone's been hyping this up. So I'm really excited to try this out and give you guys my brutally honest opinion about it. Is it worth the hype or is it just all for TikTok? I got the iconic Lash Clash Mascara by YSL. I also got the Rare Beauty Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighter in the shade Enlighten. This was the last thing I got. Makeup Forever in the shade Wherever Walnut because everyone's been raving about this and I really want to see if it's worth the hype. The rest of the stuff in here are actually stuff that I already own, which is insane. Like, the Hourglass Concealer, the Merit Blushes. Don't worry, I did not spend all this money. I promise you that, I would not do that. But I am a sucker for trending makeup. Like I just always wanna try it out and see if it's worth the hype, so. The Patrick Ta Blushes, she's a doll, she's blushing. Huda Beauty, I was actually surprised that this was on the top sellers because quite frankly, I've tried this and I'm not the biggest fan. It's creased on me, I didn't see much of a color correction. Not a big fan, I have the shade Pink Pomelo. The Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wands, can you tell? Can you tell? The Rare Beauty blushes. These are always out of stock at my store. This is in the shade Bliss and in the shade Grateful. This shade doesn't sell as much as this one. The iconic Dior blush. You can totally live without this blush. I feel like it's not life-changing. I have the Tickle highlighter from Benefit. This highlighter is worth every single penny. I love this highlighter. This is my favorite. I reach for this every single day. The most talked about product. Everyone just always gets this. The best brow gel you'll ever use. This is the Benefit 24 our brow setter does not flake love it the rare beauty bronzer we're gonna try her out today the best selling setting spray at sephora charlotte tilbury for a very good reason and the charlotte tilbury pressed powder this powder is 100 percent worth the hype the best lip balms you'll ever put on your lips the summer friday lip balms the say glowy super gel it's pretty good i'm not gonna lie the dior lip glow oil the best lip oil that i've ever put on my lips and that's it that's everything that's in this bag and i'm about to do a full face and you guys are about to see you're gonna try it out with me are they really sephora's best sellers we're about to find out why they're sephora's best sellers for a reason let's start out with my face is feeling so dry right now, so I really hope that this like moisturizes my face. I'm very, very picky with products, like super duper picky. Like if they feel just a little bit weird, I already don't like it. We're gonna put these dew drops on top and see. Everyone always like swears how these are so good. I don't remember liking these, but we're about to find out today. 
we look super duper glowy i'm just gonna put a little bit i wish i had the brown ones because i feel like that would probably look better now we're gonna go in with laura mercier foundation so excited to try this out hopefully this is my right shade I'm gonna use a brush so that I can get full coverage. So far, this seems like a pretty good color match. This is like melting on my skin. It evaporated. Wow, that's actually pretty crazy. It literally blended in so buttery. And the coverage is, is medium coverage, not super full coverage, but I, it did cover a little bit of the redness. So now we're gonna move on to concealer. This is one of the best sellers for a reason. I always reach for this concealer because of the coverage. This concealer is 100% worth your dollars everyone's skin is different so my opinions might be different than yours and what works for me might not work for you i do crease very easily with the wrong concealer this concealer has not creased on me whatsoever wow so far my skin is looking stunning going in with my charlotte tilbury setting spray now we're going in with the rare beauty bronzer stick this is my favorite bronzing stick you guys are about to see how my skin looks so beautiful and bronzed if you have your eye on a bronzer and you don't know which bronzer to get either this one the makeup by mario the charlotte tilbury one because there's just so many i will have to say that this by far is the best bronzer i have ever tried the way it just blends out and it doesn't look patchy at all it is so buttery so soft so pigmented i will forever be a Die hard fan for this bronzer i recommend it 100 percent. so this is my favorite powder ever especially for my dry under eyes the laura mercier talc free powder but it's not sephora's best seller this is sephora's best selling powder the huda beauty powder it just makes you look super airbrushed it looks amazing on the skin i do really love this powder it is a little heavier for me than what i like to go for on like a regular day my skin does not look cakey at all i'm very shocked with how this is coming out because i was not expecting it some of sephora's like best-selling products they're like a hit or miss but so far everything is hitting now i'm gonna do my brows here's where i have a bone to pick with sephora because their best-selling brows did not include the benefit precisely my brow it included the anastasia brow pencil i do not like the anastasia brow pencil okay i'm sorry it's just not good it's just very drying waxy and this i feel like it's just so buttery and smooth now i'm gonna go in with brow gel obviously the 24 hour brow setter this is the best brow gel, I promise you. Go in with a little bit more setting spray. Blush, the best part. Now we have a couple blushes. We have the Merit blush, or we have our Patrick Ta blush, or we have our Charlotte Tilbury blush, or our Rare Beauty blush. This is a very hard choice. I have no idea which one to pick. Maybe I should do Patrick Ta because this has been sold out of my store for like weeks. They just restocked this week, which is crazy. I think since we love pink so much, I'm gonna do She's a Doll. I'm gonna do powder first because when the brand rep for Patrick Ta came in, she told us to do powder first and then a little bit of the cream if you want that glowy look. Or if you want a matte look, do the cream first and then the powder. Now we're gonna go in with the thing that I've been wanting to try the most, this highlighter. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love trying new makeup because I feel like I'm just a little girl. Look at that shade. Can you guys see that? Please tell me you see that. Oh my gosh. This is blowing my mind. And it doesn't look glittery. Okay, I found my new favorite highlighter. That is insane. 100% worth the hype. I have to say, I have not been really liking traditional mascaras. I've been liking tubing mascaras because I feel like regular mascara is so annoying to take off. I feel like sometimes with tubing mascaras, you don't really get like that volume. I think the real test for this mascara is gonna be if it flakes. If it flakes, I'm gonna be so disappointed in it. I'm so excited. We're gonna try out the lip pencil. Is this gonna be worth the hype? I've seen everyone talking about it. And you know one thing that I hate about lip liners when they feel so dry and like waxy Ooh. so cute first impressions it feels so buttery i don't even know what to say but this is the best lip pencil that i've ever used on my lips and i've tried the charlotte tilbury one mm -mm. this is another one of sephora's best sellers the laneige lip balm let me show you guys my favorite lipstick this is the rare beauty lipstick in the shade humble and now, I don't want it to get dirty. That's like the best thing I've ever put on my lips. Wow, guys, what the heck? Did I miss a step? I don't think I did. I, that's it. That's all. We did it. Guys, I am blown away right now. This is girl mess. 
wow. Like my skin looks so smooth. It doesn't even look like I'm wearing foundation. These are Sephora's bestsellers for a very good reason. I think everything that I got has not disappointed me at all. I 100% recommend every single product that I showed you guys. I think it's worth your money. Oh my goodness, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I had so much fun trying some of this new makeup with you guys. It's literally my most favorite thing to ever do is just go to Sephora and buy some new makeup and try it out. It's just so exciting, it's so fun. Let me know down below what your favorite makeup item from Sephora Sephora is if I had to choose I'm probably gonna choose Laneige lip masks because I'm literally obsessed this has become my new favorite thing so comment down below what your favorite is and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up it would really help me out also hit that subscribe button we are so close to 90k thank you so much you guys I love you god bless you god loves you Mwah. show love bye